Hi guys, Englishman here. We're on another construction site. <laughs> this is going to be uh, the bypass for Atad, but it's starting off. This is the road from Ormi. Uh, you can see a lot of new buildings. This is uh, the back end of Amrihel. Uh, here is the money people that take care of the banks. Uh, it's going to be like this. It's going to be like a slip road to cut this corner off. The main reason why I show coming here, it's going to be a brand new road. Uh, the cuts of the side of Atad. If anybody's come from Rabat, uh, if you come down towards Atad and you've got that peculiar, like it's dual carriageway and then it goes into a single funny junction. Uh, it's like progress taking over from, it was just a very small village of, uh, of course, Atad some, you know, years ago. That's 17th century, some of the buildings in Atad. Um, so you can imagine you know, like uh, new construction took over and uh, obviously roads just cramped into one. So you've got dual carriageway on both sides uh, and then you've got this funny junction. So you can imagine on peak times that junction was mayhem. You've got to cramp like uh, sometimes three lines of traffic into one small road. This is part of it. Uh, of course, it's going to continue on now. We're going to go right up to Mount Carmel. I'm going to cut little bits and pieces because it's a, it's a good half an hour walk. Uh, I'm with the GoPro, so maybe you're getting some wind noise. Uh, my little mod didn't come yet. I ordered it, but uh, it's supposed to block the wind noise. But I thought, why not give it a go? I'll speak a bit louder. We're heading the wind now, so coming back it was, uh, was quite okay. Let's get up to the top. Uh, there's a pumping station of Balzan. Here is the, uh, see where it is here. This is the viaduct coming from uh, the water fountains in Rabat, going all the way down through Hamrun. There's like uh, the station there. It continues on to Hamrun. A uh, lot of, lot of uh, embassies here, big houses. You know, look at them here, guys. This is a brand new road. It's gonna filter into this one. I'm not sure what they're gonna do, whether they're gonna bring that over so they've got different lanes. Might be a part two, guys. <laughs> what do you think? Let's just keep fingers crossed. The wind is not too bad on the GoPro. Because uh, I can feel it in my ears, so probably you can feel it. Let's go a little bit further. This was just a really introduction to show you uh, how we're gonna start. Then we're gonna keep on going up towards the tard. This is uh, wheated soda. Beautiful views across the valley, going over to Zabuch, Ormi. Sujui right in the background. Remember that video, guys? We did. We found that little chapel in wheated soda. It's just over the back there. Lovely walk, that hey. I really enjoyed it. This is a bit up and down. There's no uh, danger here. In fact, it's all open, you can come in, so. I'm gonna go a bit further towards um, Hatad. We start it then. Oh, we're nearly, we're nearly in Balzan. This is actually Balzan here. More big villas. The idea of this video as well, show you the bypass, show you what uh, if, uh, the government is doing. I'm going to borrow one of their videos, so <laughs> I hope they're not. I'll give them a link below. below. Inf uh, infrastructure Malta. It's a Facebook page. If you want to know what's going on, construction all around Malta, I'll put the link below. Uh, that's where I'm going to nick this video from. They found, uh, as they were doing the bypass, they found this tomb, uh, six, eight to six century. Uh, classical uh, era it's a tomb and they did something really fantastic never been done before in Malta Let's just get over because there's a few humps and bumps here they found this tomb 
eight, between the 8th and 6th century. They encased it with concrete, dug it out with precise machinery and lifted it out of the way. So it's going to be available to go and see when they, feel, when they finish all the road construction. So we're going to try and see if I can get near to it. I'm sure that's going to be blocked off. I'm not sure what I'm going to find here, if the road is going to be blocked or whatever. Let's see, guys. Uh, okay, this is the old pumping station. Maybe you'll know it because it's been there from ever since I've been coming to Malta, Balzan pumping station. This is where the road starts here. Oh, it is getting a bit busy. It's in a hurry. The road uh, starts here. We're going to continue on at the back of uh, Atard. Wheat is soda. I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure if we're going to get the chance to have a look at this tomb. Uh, those sorts of things, they sort of protect a little bit. There's a lot of no entries here and I'm nowhere near where they said. I might get attacked by an angry farmer, but this is pretty wasteland here anyway, so you don't have to worry too much. There's a road here anyway. The only problem is the, the grit you get in your shoes here. This is the road here they're going to do. It's going to be a slip road. That normally is the road going off. Uh, you can go to Balzan and continue on to it. We're going on this road, it's Emdina Road. Oh, they, got, they went down a little dip here. This, uh, this road has been going for a couple of years because it's, it's a big bottleneck there. The drivers are complaining, but the people that had backed on to uh, Wheat and Soda have been protesting really strongly not to put this road. You can imagine you had fields behind you and you've got this big road, which is going to be quite busy, I think. It's going to be a quite a busy road all the way to Umdina. So you can see. Oh, angry dogs. Good job they're fenced up. <laughs> you get, get a scare sometimes, but they've got uh, good fencing on them there. Wow, what a lovely road. It's almost ready for tarmac. I'm not going near the construction. Oh, there's going to be like a footpath coming down here. Cranes everywhere, guys. Look, shall we come? That's going to be near. come to live. I'm going to ask you uh, the question on live because I, I do a giveaway. During my video of uh, the Hatard Pipe Pass, I don't know what's going to call it yet. How many cranes did you count <laughs> along the way? We can start here. Uh, that's Zabuch. One, two, three, four. Oh, five, six. Lovely piece of land. Over the back there, there's a vineyard, Santa Rosa vineyard. We passed it. Not seeing much of the villas. There's some nice villas. But you can imagine, and they they put it down a bit deep, so uh, perhaps that was perhaps that was a compromise uh, because if you put it level, but the valley's slipping away. So uh, I like how they're doing these walls, guys. The new, all the new construction road constructions have got these new. Oh, that's interesting. It's Maltese stone, but it's coming in blocks, so it's like prefabricated block comes in one big block so obviously they're making it they're making it back in the, some kind of factory and they're putting it in big blocks hey, hey let's go a bit further guys we'll soon be at the tomb <laughs> the, to the tomb of the sleeping warrior 
That's a long time. How many? How long is that? Uh, eight or six century. Wow, that's a long way. I like to see in these side roads. Look at this over here. Fingers crossed the GoPro is okay. I should think next week it should come. It's called a mod. It fits on it and it stops the wind noise and you can put a microphone on it, all sorts of good things. Uh, but this virus has stopped everything for me. Lots of things coming from China, you know, like uh, to fit on the window screen and all these things. They never turned up and I got cash refunds for them all. Look at that over there, guys. Wow, this is interesting. 21125. Okay guys, we're gonna keep going. I'll come back in a bit. Lovely day today. Well over 30. I've got the sunscreen. I don't have that blessed sweaty hat. <laughs> come back guys. We're at some kind of junction here guys. So the farmer's field, I think they're putting these big uh, oh, this is the road that goes to Balsam, I think. Yeah, there's a... You can see a tar church just behind. That's a tar church. But there's a junction down here for uh, Balsam. Here they're doing uh, continue. It's too rough to go down there. But I'll continue on this road here. I can hear something. Oh, rushing water from here. Oh, here. I can hear water. Beautiful farmer's field there. Yeah. There's a farmer's field here. So we're not in any danger here at all. There's a lot of farmers come along here. Here's a junction here coming up. I think there's going to be another road or a footpath up the top here. Those blocks again here, guys. You can go off this road here to Sujui. We can see these old uh, walls here. Old construction. I like how they did it all to... Uh, into theme like this. Oh, here it is, that concrete thing here. They found it deep under the road where they were going to go. Okay, we can have a look how deep they had to dig it. They found it directly in, in line. Here it is over here, guys. Oh, look, you have to do. I have to dig it out here. Um, what I'll do is run their video. I hope they don't mind me running, but I'll give them a link.
few I do a lot for mortar anyway so lovely farmland here some old buildings here it is it's all been covered in though they're taking care of it eh? it's all been covered with concrete uh, it's a tomb from the 8th 6th century so oh look what they did they cut the sides out they put concrete underneath it and they laid this on the top it's gonna be laid here by the side of the road uh, an old tomb I think there was nobody's in there so luckily <laughs> let's keep going junction here for uh, uh, Sujui road going up I'm gonna just go through here guys you can see these people were complaining because this road is going to destroy their beautiful views Okay, let's go in towards that junction and we see how far they're gonna, what they're doing from there. Look guys, this is how it's constructed. This is really interesting. Comes a whole block. It's prefabricated. There's the back look and there's the front. That's really interesting. You can see how it's, uh, from one side to the other. I can, I can hear dogs. I'm gonna get some. Just in case. I can hear dogs barking here. That would give him a good clunk on the head. Well, guys, we just came all the way up now. Um, Hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'll show you the way the junction. Um, this has been a really big problem for a long time. Sorry about the wind. It seems uh, we're, we're hitting this junction, a bit of a crosswind here. So you're going to get a little bit here. Oh, it's better now. Across the um, open air, the wind was like whistling across. This junction coming from, uh, from Rabat through, uh, you know, past Ali coming to Atard. It comes down like a, almost like a dual carriageway. Then it just bottlenecks into this sort of one road. I'll show you where it is. And this is the idea of this, to take uh, the pressure off that uh, road. I think they're gonna make it, I'm not sure which way, they're gonna make it one way uh, from another one and, one and down, I think down, and then it's gonna go up. I think that's the way. That goes up to Mount Carmel. Here, I'll show you the junction here. Very, very busy junction. You know, for a small island, we've got lots of cars here. <laughs> uh, it could take you up to an hour to pass this junction. So you come down from Rabat, on the way, maybe you go into Hamrun or to Valletta or something. It's the only really road, unless you want, you want to go on the one from uh, Zabuc, which is a little bit better, but then you hit the traffic through Ormi as well then. So this is quite nice to go for uh, Hamrun. Uh, you can get to Ormi from this area as well, Balzan, in the center of the island. <laughs> See, very courteous. Eh? Here's the junction here. This is, goes into a single lane here. So this is going to be the road, I think, either coming down or going up. There's the bypass over there. And uh, the junction just here, where this car is coming out, this uh, BMW. You can see, like, it's just single. Imagine, like, uh, at the other side there is a dual carriageway, I won't walk up there, but this is going to be the road obviously coming down or going up. I think more like coming down because that bypass is going to go up to Mount Karma. Uh, I think we'll walk a little bit up there. I was thinking not to, but uh, let's see if there's anything interesting. We'll walk down and we'll go up. It's, um, this road blends into Mount Carmel at the top there, going towards Rabat. Let's get around the corner there guys, switch back on again. Uh, it's a continuous road of the bypass, Mount Carmel. And it, uh, Mount Carmel is the mental hospital, if uh, people, obviously expats would know about it. They remember it's been there from uh, up the time of Matter Day. It was the uh, mental hospital for a long time. It's got a lovely big garden there. 
Mount Carmel. Let's walk up and I'll show you. So this is the continuation uh, of the road. Come, or we walked all along from those where those cranes are now. Can you see them in the background? It's going to be the bypass. Here they are actually digging now for the drainage. That's very far advanced uh, down there. So they're ready for tarmac. I think here is a little bit more. Uh, I wonder if they're going to come across another tomb here, guys. Who knows? How about that, guys? They're just digging along. They're being really careful now. Let's go a little bit in the shade. Oh, it's strong sun today. And a little bit wind coming down from uh, this straight road. This is where the wind is coming from. You can see the form of the road slowly. I was hoping we are going to shelter the wind a little bit here. Sorry, guys, for the wind noise. I think we don't need to go all the way up here. You get the drift of it. Uh, it's going to be a dual carriageway going all the way up. Look at the beautiful countryside. I wonder if that's the same wheat is soda going across there to uh, Zabuch is in the background there. Behind it is Sujui. Yeah, look, they're doing a lot of drainage here. Uh, I've been here when the water really... This used to be like the old valley coming down, so it's going to hit a lot of water coming down from the top there. But I, I'll, get, I'll keep going just to the top there, show you a little bit of the valley. They seem as if they're putting these walls again. How cute those walls! You know, I drove, I'm not sure where I were, uh, over by Ormi they were doing some, uh, another road construction. I was going in the shade a little bit. And I saw these, uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure if you see the one of the Valley Tasauda on the back when they see that guy building the wall, the Maltese wall. It takes a long time to build it. And you have to be quite skilled. Anyway, I drove down this road. I see them doing the construction. And then the next day I drove up it, I said, Jesus, that was fast. They built this wall <laughs> and I didn't even think, look how nice it is, this wall. You wouldn't think it's not hand built. They're actually blocks like we, we look down there. How nice it is. It's like a Maltese wall. But the, like you saw at the bottom there, it's a, a block they just drop in place. Like the ones here. We can see the back of it here. Not sure how far to go. This is quite a long walk. It goes into some nice uh, countryside, goes to that hospital, but we're hitting a lot of wind here. <sighs> if it dies down, we keep walking. If it keeps <laughs> right in my face at the moment. It is. Not much to see. I bet these people were pissed with uh, the road coming here. They had a lovely view of the valley. I think there was a small road there in the old times. I'm not sure if this is the road or they had a small valley road. For definite you're getting a bit of wind now, guys. We're heading right into the wind. We'll have a look at this junction here, see what it is, and then I think we'll finish it. Hey guys, don't forget to come over to my live. Um, I had one, it's the first one. I forget his name now, but I've posted it quite a few places. He didn't even uh, recognize for the free gift. So uh, the next live, I'm going to give the next person a chance. I mean, well, why we didn't, I don't know, something happened to him maybe. Oh yeah, it's going to be a junction here. Oh, too much wind noise, guys. You have to get, if you want to get in, you have to get down the bottom. Let's turn this way. Yeah, that's a junction going up to the wheat. It's, oh, there's like a... I didn't know there was one there. Oh yeah, it must be the one from the top in. There's like a quarry at the back here. That's going to be the road going into the quarry. Okay guys, let's leave it there. Let's leave it with the, in the background. Not very nice with the uh, quarry, I know. <laughs> Thanks guys. Don't forget if it's your first time. I do many videos of motor adventures, cooking, anything new, I try and get to it. Uh, click the bell below, the icon bell. Uh, you get notified for all my videos. 
and don't forget to give me a thumbs up we really need it love to see your comments uh, comments are really valuable to me I enjoy them a lot you'll see why I click the, the uh, thumbs up and the heart you know I've read it then I'll get around to uh, so because some of them are quite long Vicky Michelle <laughs> sometimes I have a heart attack I see the comment like you see about three lines and you think oh okay and then you click see more <laughs> I try and answer it quickly as I can so I can get on to something else because I work and do videos at the same time there's the wall guys look how nice I'm really impressed with this wall I never even, and it's so simple Mount Carmel's just there you can just see it starting oh that's interesting let's have a look at this there's an old building here, but I don't think we can get into it. They have to knock something down, so I have to get through. Look at the views, guys. Ormi, right over there. Oh, there's nothing up there, guys. I'll finish it there. <laughs> Thank you for supporting me. i uh, love to see you on my channel. Uh, you really helped me a lot lovely comments and thumbs up bye guys take care hope you enjoyed the video and i know another construction site but there's another one in Trikawa. i was thinking of going and seeing it uh, this infrastructure motor really plugging on and doing lots of work we really needed this uh, bypass okay it's dug into the like we have a lot of conversations with people oh you're spoiling mortar it's destroying mortar and the construction but you can't pull back uh, progress We've been so pulled back for many, many years. I remember the, not this government, not the one before, but the nationalist. We hardly did any roads or building. And then uh, it just exploded. A lot of money came from Europe. Uh, and doing things, we really need to do that master junction. It really needs to be done. It's, uh, it's part of growth, you know, and you say like they're building these apartments. They're full, <laughs> there's none empty. So it shows that it's uh, in need. Okay, look, you've got an old area, but, and then it comes a nice impressive building. It's modern guys, it's modernization. What can you do? Young people need to live, people coming in, expats coming back, uh, foreigners coming into the island, want to stay here. But you still have a look at the beautiful area. We still have lots. That goes all the way to Sejui. That's a part of part of uh, Ormi at the back there. But if you go on this small valley at the back, you can go all the way. You can walk. I bet you can walk at the back there for at least two two hours without seeing any buildings on the valley of Sajui, going down to Alapsi. It's really it's really uh, not all that bad. You just see a lot of cranes when you come on holiday. You see obviously you see Slima and you see uh, St Julians. Those areas are finished. So why not build up the places if there's demand? Anyway, guys, that's my rant over. <laughs> Bye, see you soon. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for your uh, thumbs up. Uh, I love your support. If you need me, I'm below. There's a lot of shortcuts to Holiday Mortar and there's uh, to Facebook. You can send me a message. That's more likely you'll get a quicker answer uh, because it takes a bit of time to get around all the comments. I've got comments coming from uh, four or five groups and coming from holiday more to coming from my face so it takes a bit of time sometimes bye guys thanks a lot see you soon so please subscribe to my channel and give me lots of likes